Hello students, this is Professor here and uh, today we are going to start with the new topic, okay? And the uh, topic is the square root, finding square root by the division method, okay? So, but uh, before starting the new topic, uh, in the last exercise we have left one sum, that is question number 7, okay? And we'll try to quickly finish it off and then we'll move to the new topic, okay? And in this question, uh, like... Uh, in the last question that is question number six okay so we were finding some number with which we had to multiply the given number so that the given number will become a perfect square so in that case when we multiply we were adding some number okay but in question number seven we have to find the smallest number with which we have to divide okay divide means we'll eliminate we will eliminate the factor which is left unpaired okay in the last case the whichever factor was left unpaired we were adding same factor to make it pair okay make a pair but in this case we are dividing means we are eliminating that factor whichever is left unpaired will leave it okay so uh, for example here what is given is you have to find the smallest number by which this number has to be divided so that it will become a perfect square and you have to find the square root of the perfect square thus obtained okay so uh first uh, let us first prime factorize 4 3 7 5 okay so if you prime factorize this one what will you get So it will not go with 2 obviously because it is not an even number, right? So it will go with 3, is it? No, it will not go with 3 also, it will go with 5. So 5 is a 40, 5 7 is a 35, 5 5 is a 25, is it? I believe it is right and uh, next with 5 again, 5 1 is a 5. 5 7 is a 35 and 5 5 is a 25 again with 5 isn't it so 5 3 is a 15 5 5 is a now with 5 again so 5 7 is a 35 with 7 again 7 1 is a 7 isn't it so therefore 4 3 7 5 equals to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 7 okay so now here you can see you can see the factor 7 is left on pair that means it doesn't have a pair right so what you will do well forming the pair of factors we can see that 7 is left on pair right so to make the pair of the factors we have to eliminate 7 because we have to divide with something right so to make 4 3 7 5 a perfect square we have to divide it by 7 isn't it so uh, the next part is what so this is the first part we have to divide by 7 next part you have to find the square root of the number thus formed now we are we have to divide 4 3 7 5 by 7 so how much will you get so if you, if you divide it by 7 you will get 625 i guess okay so you have to find the square root of 625 so if you prime factorize 625 what will you get now again so with 5 125 5 25 5 5 and then 5 1 therefore 625 equals to 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 right implies on the root of 625 is how much so out of these two only one will come out of these two only one will come so this will be 25 so this is your this is your answer okay so this is how you will do okay so in similar way you can do b c and d okay so now after doing this one we can now proceed to the main topic and that one is square root by division method right so if you do square root by division method 
uh, it will be very easy for you to find the square root of the greater number okay so like while doing prime factorization method you if there is a large number that is till crore like if the given number is in crore then it will be very lengthy for you to do prime factorization right but if you do with uh, division method then it will be quite easy for you to do okay so uh, let us first understand the process okay so you have to follow the step okay so now uh, there are two types okay now when the number of digits in the given number is even and when the number of digits given in the number are odd okay so these are the two cases okay and uh, okay so let us see let us first do for uh, 249001 so 249001 suppose you have to find the square root of this one so you have to count the number how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is even right so first step is pairing the digits starting from back okay you may not understand my writings but uh, please uh, listen what i am saying okay i am writing pairing the digits starting from the back means from back you have to pair like this two 1 and 0 and this one 9 and 0 and this one is last pair so that means we have we will pair from the back side okay so now you can see since this is even obviously no numbers will be left okay so now as uh, name itself indicates we have to divide okay so let us start so this one is for sorry this one is for 249001 so we have paired like this 1 2 3 okay. okay so then we have to find such number we have to do for 24 okay that is why we are make, making a pair we will not do only for 2 we'll do for 24 and uh, how we have to start is you have to multiply some number with itself so that it will be uh, divisible for 24 for example i can do for 1 1 1 1 so okay if i write 2 here it will be 2 here also so 2 2 the 4 okay 3 3 the 9 like that 4 4 the 16 5 5 the 25 if you write 5 5 the 25 then it will exit 24 so what is the possibility so you have to write the nearest one okay we can write 1 1 the 1 also but it is not the nearest one it is less than 24 like in division okay it should not be greater than 24 okay so like 2 to the 4 it is also less than 24 but it is not the nearest one which one is the nearest one 4 4 the 16 okay if i write 5 here 5 5 the 25 no it will not be divisible because 25 is greater than 24 okay so it should not exceed the given number so next what is the next procedure is like in division you have to subtract here so how much 24 minus 16 8 right now what is difference here is now what which whichever number you are multiplying you have to add here so we are multiplying with 4 no 4 so 4 plus 4 8 isn't it so next again there is another difference with division we have to drop two numbers here like in pair the number will come down in pair so 9 0 okay understood so next is you have to find such number okay like if you write one here so here also you have to write one but in this case you have eight already you have eight here isn't it so if i write one it will become 81 into 1 so 81 if you write two it will become 82 two ja if you write three here 83 three ja okay you have to find the nearest possible number Okay, so if I go with five, it will be eighty-five, five zero, five five zero, twenty-five, two, five zero, forty, forty-two. So it will be much, much less, isn't it? So if I do with seven, eighty-five, seven zero, seven five zero, thirty-five, okay, and three, eight seven zero, fifty-six, fifty-nine. It is also very less, okay. So if I go with nine, eighty-nine, nine zero, because see, whichever number you put here, you have to multiply with the same number. That is why it will be eighty-five. Sorry, it is eighty-five, eighty-seven. Seven. So if you put seven, it will be seven. Okay. If you put nine, it will be nine. So it's seven. Seven is forty-nine. 
4 save and add the 56 plus 4 60 but also it is less okay did you understand my point if i put 1 here we have to multiply with 1 if i put 2 then 2 like 81 1 za, 82 2 za, 83 3 za. whatever is there in the single digit you have to multiply with the same digit okay so i am putting 9 so it will be 89 9 because i am putting 9 here it should be 9 only here also okay so uh, this one is 9 9 za, 81 8 9 8 za, 72 and 8 801 okay so it is slightly less because we cannot put 10 so it will obviously be 9 so i'll put 9 here okay so 89 9 sir. okay so that is how much 89 9 sir, 801 so next what you have to do with whichever number you are multiplying here you have to add the same number that is 9 okay so 89 plus 9 9 plus 9 18 1 98 so this will be how much now if you subtract you will get 89 only okay so next what will happen here this will come in pair isn't it okay next uh, what you have to do is now you have to find such number like you have to put such number which when multiplied with uh, if i put one here it will become 981 into one similar to this step right if you put two here it will be 982 into two if i put three here 983 into 3 if i put 4 in such way you have to find okay so similarly you can try and do for the nearest one so if i try 989 into 9 what will happen because i am putting 9 here okay so i have to multiply with 9 only isn't it so 99 is 81 okay 8 9 is 72 plus 8 80 8 9 is 81 plus 8 89 see it is exactly divisible 8901 8901 so it will be 9 9 so 8901 so we have to add 9 here so this will be almost this will be 0 okay so this will be 18199 so what is which one is the square root then not this one okay this is the square root so therefore square root of 249001 is how much 499 okay so this is the division method okay so uh, this is a uh, little bit complicated not that hard but it is little bit complicated so that is why i am doing one more sum okay which contains odd number for example i am doing for 16641 so if you count the digit you can see how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 that is odd here we had 6 okay so if we try to do square root for this one and if you start peering from the back okay so this will remain unpaired right so we have to do only for this first so it is obviously one one the one isn't it so i'll add one here as i already said so it will become two so this will be zero so this will come in pair 66 isn't it so next i have to put such number so that it will be the nearest possible for 66 so if i put one 21 one the 21 no it is very very less if i do 22 two the 44 isn't it if i do 23 3 is a 69 that is 3 is exceeding 66 right so we'll do with 2 22 2 is a 44 isn't it so i have to add 2 also so it will be 24 it will become 22 if i subtract isn't it so it will come in pair 41 okay so next i have to put such number so that it will go again for 22 4 1 so if you try again i think it will go with uh, 9 only because 2 4 9 into 9 because i if i put 9 here i have to multiply with 9 only right 9 9 is 81 8 9 4 is 36 and 8 44 4 9 2 is 18 and 2 18 and 4 22 isn't this way 2 2 4 1 so it is how much 9 only so it will be 9 times so 2 2 4 1 so if you subtract you will get 0 here and this will be how much plus 9 2 58 isn't it so which one is the square root this one therefore square root of 2 sorry 1 6 6 4 1 is almost 129 okay so this is how you will find the square root by division method okay so uh, so you can do number uh, exercise 3.2 exercise 3.2 uh, 
एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू नंबर नंबर टू नंबर टू ए बी सी एंड डी एज योर होमवर्क ओके नंबर टू ए बी सी एंड डी इज एज योर होमवर्क एंड इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग यू कैन जस्ट टेक्स्ट इन द ग्रुप ओके एंड आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू ओके सो टिल देन यू डू योर होमवर्क इफ यू डेंट अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग प्लीज डोंट हेजिटेट टू आस्क मी ओके